Welcome back, everybody. This is Brian Kirk with Eat to My Own Beat, taking the road less traveled. This is February 7th of our European vacation. Portugal, Rome, Italy, and... So today we're at the Vatican, which is actually a completely different country. And as you can see, we're heading towards the way here. We're just going up our normal route here. Passio Station or a metro station, whatever country that you live in, whatnot. So as you can see, we've made this pathway a, quite a few times, and, uh, and we are making our way up through a lot of area here. There's a lot of advertisements on the side of the streets, like in any bigger city. And um, you see a lot of motorcycles, known people drive smaller vehicles, smart cars are quite common as all in all, it's pretty cool the they they get around in. So you can see the Colosseum head towards the south. The Vatican uh, looks like you would go to any other country. Leave stamp there at the Vatican um, in um, post office. You have to pay for it, but you can get a Vatican passport. So here's the Colosseo or the Colosseo. The Colosseo as, um, it is. Uh, like I said in the last thing, it is truly a work of art, a magnificent piece of artwork that has standed, stood many, uh, you know, part, stood the length of time to this point. It's been over 2,000 years, and it's just amazing it's still around and how people flock to it from all over the world and uh, are not... It, it's probably one of the most truly stunning seen tourist attractions outside of the Eiffel Tower or the Statue of Liberty, but it's still very popular to see it and people store it to this day. And we will be seeing that in another video, I think it's tomorrow, the next video will be done, so next Sunday you will see it. Here we go into the Coliseo um, subway station, metro station, is it there, big, or it's gonna... so uh, I'll get stopped, uh, they'll tell me not to once we get here. Uh, you're not allowed to film the subdation the rules I didn't turn back on after you not turn to So down yeah, quite a few stations it was as a um, hideout for a place to bombing during the World War II, and it would still be used today in case of a uh, occurrence happening again. It is quite nice. The, the subway station has got quite a bit of artwork on the wall, a lot of um, decorative tiles, which line up quite nicely. Um, so of course the um, today with the day that we were there, the uh, escalator which is on so many stairs and you're as out of shape as on. And uh, this, this is where I opted for it about to take the camera off and the uh, fire tickets and head on through, through the, the subway. subway. And the next shot you'll see us walking down the street and towards, towards the Vatican City. As you can see right here, we are uh, in uh, Rome. We're just, uh, the, is, we are, can catch the uh, go back. It's about a uh, couple blocks away from a tour guide who does help us get onto a tour because we didn't have any plans for actually booked anything for getting on. And luckily, during COVID times, it's not very hard to get within a half hour to and we were able to book that. So we uh, have a little bit of trouble navigating the streets, but we do find it to get to the place we need to go. So as you can see, this is another part of Rome, and it is uh, beautifully architecture, and it's um, set up quite the same as the rest of the, the area we were staying in, Airbnb. Yeah. Walk with us as we see the sights on our way to Vatican City. See here, my wife is trying to figure out the best way of finding a the Vatican City, as we always people finding our way to the sites we want to see. But we are looking around right now, making our way down towards the Vatican. You can see there's quite a few 
wrap set up on the side of the road here. There's an advertisement for McDonald's up above. And um, the town, and you can see the scooter set up. They're set up the system in Rome where you can, you can use a credit card. Pay for, pay for them, them a smart smartphone app, app pay for, pay for the, the app, app and, uh, the, 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 the use of a ride, ride and, and go, go in any area you want, want to for a certain amount of time. Telling us where to go, ask for things, she says, that's where I need to go because we, were, like, we look like we are lost. And she did take us all the way over to her place. To her, the tour um, a couple blocks away from Vatican City. Uh, she guided us to the folks we probably would have got lost heading there on our own. Yes, um, where exactly to go, so that's where we're going right now. Being in a tourist city like Rome, there are tons of people trying to do tours, trying to sell you different sort of uh, availability for different things. Uh, you got to be careful which one you want to go with. Often, it's best to have these things pre-planned and um, have your plans done, have things printed off, be ready. When you need to be there for the right time to get to these places because they're not always easy to find and they're um, things can go off um, transportation problem anything when you're traveling you never, never that's been our mantra to just and while we're there if we don't make it let's just do our best to get there for the one we need to you can tell she's a bit of a fat of the tour. Um, that can actually has a very high wall built to withstand. Uh, uh, so it was protected as a separate country. It is about 900 people in the, the country. Um, big, I will put the option and, or it will be mentioned in one of the video actually, probably by the tour guide. I see a lot of sites, a lot of sculptures and whatnot. Walk through here. It's, it's the Vatican City, it's straight to it, whether or not you agree with uh, and I'm experienced because how many times are you going to be in Rome? And how many times are you in the position to go to go and watch, especially with the prices they cost to get in? Please do note that you're not allowed to bring anything big, like a big backpack uh, film. In the you're not allowed to bring a tripod of any size, even the small one I was using in. Rome. It's like half a meter and they still didn't allow it. So you got to be careful what you're like. Be careful and uh, pre plan. You are allowed to check it, of course. So don't worry about them taking not giving it back to you. Oh. 
Just Rome. Just Rome. Just Rome. And Vatican. Yes, and Vatican. <laughs>
but they are very strict and they check everything. <laughs> there are a lot of different sections. Uh, the biggest one uh, is the Roman art section uh, because it was also the first one to be created. 500 years ago the Vatican State was very very big. Uh, I mean uh, uh, the, the territory of the Pope was uh, uh, composed of the full center of Italy and in particular in Rome was the capital of the Papal State. Uh, so the Pope uh, or the Popes in the center organized archaeological digs looking for Roman statues and obviously they carried the best in their palace because the important thing to know these museums were not museums originally originally they were the Papa private residence so the best objects discovered on the ground of the city were the only in the 1932, this uh, palace was transformed in a museum. And now the popes are living nearby the St. Peter Basilica in a place called Apostolic. of the St. Peter Basilica. It lies exactly above the St. Peter tomb. St. Peter was the first pope of Christianity and he was persecuted and killed by a crazy Roman emperor, Nero, the one who also burned the city of Rome. He persecuted Christian people and killed St. Peter. And St. Peter was buried here because in this area of the city was uh, outside the city walls, so the necropolis uh, were here. Three centuries later, the Roman Emperor Constantine converted himself to the Christian leader and put a beautiful church exactly above the St. Peter. The church you can visit today, if you want also the end of this tour, is not the first one, it's not the one built by Constantine. But it is the one of the Renaissance time. 500 years ago, Michelangelo and a lot of other architects built the new St. Peter Basilica. The Vatican State, the Papal State was very powerful in that time and they wanted to demonstrate their power with the size of the church. And so the church is in the middle of the territory. This side around you, the building of the museums, they were the papal residence in that time. Opposite side of the basilica, more buildings. They are the true Vatican City. I mean, everything that is in a big stage, there is also in the Vatican. So they have shops, market, pharmacy, a small hospital, a radio station, that is that one. Uh, so that is the true Vatican City, but the Vatican City is open only for the citizens of the Vatican. Tourists, you and me, we can visit only the museums and the church. The true city is open only for the citizens, and there are few people, 800, very few. One is the Pope, 110 are the Swiss guards, bodyguards and soldiers of the Vatican State. Then there are the 120 cardinals. They are citizens because they elect the king, but they do not live here, they live around the world. And then there are ambassadors with their family. So very, very few people. The half part behind the building is composed of amazing gardens. They are very beautiful in each season, especially in spring, obviously. 
in order to visit the garden, there is a special ticket. And you can visit them only by an electric bus for security reasons, because uh, the, the Pope loves to pray and walk through the garden. So for security people. Uh, any question, any curiosity, ask me. Yeah. Yeah. 
they were a funerary decoration. They decorated the entrance of Adrian Mausoleo. Maybe you have seen a Castel Sant'Angelo, Holy Angel Castle. It is, it is a nearby here. Uh, now it is a castle, but originally it was the mausoleum of the Roman Emperor Hadrian. In front of the door, the entrance, there were the two people. So actually in this collection we have objects from anywhere and any time. Mm -hmm. There are the 2,000 years old Roman objects, but there are also some Egyptian objects, like the lions here, 3,000 years old. They were carried in this city by the Roman Empire when Rome was high. And so in the underground of the city we can also find that. You recognize the hieroglyphics. And then there are contemporary artworks, like that bronze sphere over there. Starting from the 19th and 6th, the Pope of all the cities decided to start a contemporary art section. So he said that if any artist wanted to give to the Pope an artwork, the Pope was going to exhibit it in the museums. Obviously, it was a great honor to be exhibited here, so now the contemporary art collection is very good. This bronze sphere was created by Arnaldo Pomodoro, an Italian artist. It was made in the 1990s, so it is a 30 years old object. The material is the same of the pine can. Mm -hmm. The problem is the difference of time. <laughs> difference of the color. Difference of the color is because of the time. It is like a new small world coming out from an older and emerging one. So a symbol of renovation and regeneration. Actually there is also another interpretation. The smaller sphere is the Vatican City, protected by the bigger one that is the city of Rome. of the dome. Mm -hmm. uh, I could say they climbed the dome because there are 551 steps, very, 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 very uh, small and high. Uh, at the top, uh, you see there is another bronze sphere. The one at the top is double sides of this one. Doesn't look like, but it is. Uh, so everything is uh, so big inside of the St. Peter Basilica and its dome. <coughs> Here in front of you, a very big portrait 
of the first Roman emperor, Augustus. After it was not a portrait original, it was a colossal statue. Imagine this is the head. In another museum, there is a finger that is bigger than this. <laughs> It was very, very, very big, yeah, and it was uh, in the uh, Roman Forum. In a temple, they did the Roman Forum. These portraits introduced in a particular gallery, a gallery full of portraits. So crossing the gallery, uh, you will see there are so many Roman people, ancient Roman people, looking here. <laughs> Sorry about the audio or the video here. There's no video for the end of the video here. I'm just going to be cutting the video at this point for this week. Uh, we will continue with the rest of the Vatican for next week just because it's such a long, um, it's a huge site and I wouldn't be doing it justice to give it a full um, video, which would be over an hour long. And I will split it into two so it's a lot less to digest and you can view it in smaller increments. So join us next week as we continue on the Vatican City. Till next time, keep eating your own beat, take the road less travel, and have a great day.